Hey guys, it's Jenna. Welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So recently, I decided to try reading every morning for a week. I got this idea from Emma Books on YouTube. I'll link her video and channel down below. I thought I'd try this out and kind of see how it would wake me up, or if it wouldn't, how it would affect my day overall, um, how I would feel overall, you know, if I'm reading at, instead of, you know, checking social media or something. And you know, I'm a naturally, like, early riser, I guess you'd say. I wake up early, naturally, and I can usually get up early if I need to, so I thought this could be easy. To have some consistency for this and get some accurate results, I set myself some rules that I had to follow each day. Number one, I could not check social media at all before reading. Number two, I had to read for at least 15 minutes. It could be more, it could be right at 15 minutes, but no less than 15 minutes of reading. And number three, I had to read in my bed. I didn't want to move around or leave my bed because that can tend to wake me up. So I didn't want any other movement or anything to interfere with um, the actual results from reading itself. So I filmed some in the moment kind of updates before and during my reading. So here's the first day. Good morning guys. So it's day one of this reading thing that I'm doing. Um, and I'm about to start my reading. It's about 8 o'clock right now. So let's get reading. Okay guys, so the first day of reading for 15 minutes uh, right after waking up is complete. Um, it went a lot smoother than I was expecting. I'm definitely more awake now. And I will say that I'm not the fastest reader, so I didn't get that much reading in as far as pages go. But we'll see how tomorrow goes. Hey guys, so it's still day one, it's almost five o'clock, uh, and I haven't done much reading since this morning, and since I'm not going anywhere, um, reading this morning hasn't caused any consequences and probably won't, so uh, I've just been doing kind of my normal routine, and I honestly did feel a little better about this morning versus when I wake up and then instantly check social media. Um, I read and felt more awake and then I went down my phone for a bit and found myself getting more tired. So I thought that was interesting. So that was just a little update um, I wanted to share with you guys about how I felt about the first day of this little experiment. So to record my progress, I was going to record a list of things um, to see how I was feeling before and after reading and different things like that. The first thing I was going to record is the time that I started reading at. Two, I was going to record my tiredness before and after so that I could see was this making me more tired or less tired? Number three, I'm going to record how much pages I read to see if I'm actually making progress in reading or if I'm just, you know, sitting there looking at the pages or dozing off or whatever. And lastly, I'll record any notes or anything that I want to add um, about each morning. Good morning, guys. It is day two of this reading experiment, and it's 8.30, and I'm very tired. I'm about to read for 15 minutes, and I'm still reading more cross, um, because it's taking me a while to finish it, but hopefully I'll finish it soon. I'm hoping to finish it today or tomorrow, because I want to finish it before March ends. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to read this for 15 minutes, and then I'll let you guys know how I feel after I read. Set timer for 15 minutes. I only read 8 pages in the 15 minutes, but, oh my gosh, I'm so slow. Good morning. 
you guys so it's day three and it's almost nine o'clock i want to try to finish my book today so i'm gonna hopefully get more reading in than i usually do i am so slow i only get like 10 pages but i'm gonna try to get more reading in today hey guys so the 15 minutes are up i didn't get that much reading Apparently I'm like a really slow reader because I only got like 9 pages in, which is fine, but I wish I could read more because I'm not doing so good pages wise, like, um, oh well, I'll just read a lot more today because I really want to finish this before tomorrow because it's the last day of March and I want to have this book in for one of the books I read for March. So going into this experiment, I wanted to really follow the rules and actually, you know, stick to them each day. But of course there had to be one day or two um, where I kind of bended the rules a little bit. Good morning guys, it's day four. And I checked social media for like a second. Like I got a notification for Instagram and I clicked on it. And I realized I can't go on Instagram, so I quickly got out of it. See you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It is 9 o'clock, and... It's day five of this, and I'm so tired. So, I am doing a social media detox, which the video will be up soon. Um, and so, since I don't have any social media to check or anything like that, I'm probably going to do a lot of reading today. Good morning guys, it's the second to last day of this reading every morning then. I, it is 10 o'clock and I did check my phone before reading. Um, not social media though, it was my, um, uh, mail, gmail and, um, weather. I'm about to read, obviously. I woke up like 10 minutes ago, but then I kept falling back asleep. And so now I'm officially awake and it's 10.10. So I'm gonna read. Good morning, guys. So it's the last day of reading every morning. Um, I'm about to read. It's like 10 o'clock, and. I'm actually not that tired, but like I could easily just like lay down and like close my eyes and not do anything. Um, my hair's a mess. Uh, I'm about to read, so let's read. And that is all. For my reading every morning week. <laughs> so my overall thoughts about how this experiment went. Uh, I read 151 pages, which is a lot more than I thought I did. I definitely started off slow with my Warcross book, but then I it got easier and like faster paced uh, with my swing book because it's written in poems, so it's obviously very easy to read. I personally don't think this really affected me at all during uh, the day. Uh, I did feel more awake each morning, um, but it didn't really affect me in the sense that it didn't get me more motivated to read or anything like that. Um, I was still, you know, binging Netflix every day. Um, and I did end up just like sitting in bed for a few minutes after reading every 
a day, but it did make me feel more awake, which is the plus side of all of this. I think that's really what matters, um, is that I, instead of going straight to my phone and going on social media every morning, which kind of made me less awake, um, eh, reading made me more awake. So, the final question is, will I continue this? And the uh, answer to that is probably a big no, but it is nice to know that, you know, reading every morning actually benefited me, um, and that, you know, it was nice, so I might continue this during quarantine, but overall, probably not. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to also subscribe and hit the bell, so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. And let me know if you guys ever try this out for yourselves. I would really, really like to see some of you guys do this as well. Bye, guys.